Escambia County is elected to take some preventative measures and uh, contracted to DRC to, to deploy and maintain uh, this 18 inch containment boom and some 8 inch absorbent to go along with it as a preventative measure. Uh, tell me what does this uh, yellow boom do? Explain to us how this works. It's 18 inch containment boom and it's held together with this cable system across the top. It's got a six inch float, as you can tell here, and an 18 inch skirt, or a 12 inch skirt, total 18 inches. It's weighted down by a chain through the bottom of here, and they hook together. The end of this piece will slide in and lock with this pin mechanism into the joint of the next piece, and you can string it out however you need to do it, 100 foot at a time, 200 foot, 300, and they come in 100 foot increments. In terms of this oil spill, what's the primary function of this uh, containment material? Simply here? to contain. Perdido Bay and, and Pensacola Bay has is, is got an inlet, uh, the Pensacola Pass right out here. So they have exposure with some currents coming in, and this will help contain uh, and, and lessen the impact on anything we got up this way. Now explain to me, how do you deploy this? How does the boat get it out there? We'll, we'll uh, stitch, which is a term of just hooking the two things, stitch two, three, four hundred feet together wherever our project dictates, whatever, if we're closing off a marina, we pre-measure 400 feet, I'll stitch 400 feet, put it on the back of a deck barge, and they, they just feed it off the back. Now when you get into some of the longer areas, the 1,000, 12, 1,800 foot stretches, you have to actually load. And these are bundled, as you can tell, with the ropes in 100 foot sections. And they'll actually stitch, stitch this stuff together on the back of the barge and feed it off as we go. All right, now we've got another type of uh, material over here that you use as a containment uh, uh, barrier. It's, uh, it looks like an absorbent material. Explain to me the, the function of this material and how it differs from the yellow material and how they work in tandem. This, the boom that's back here contains, it's all it does. It stops the flow of the oil from going uh, from one area to the next. This actually absorbs. You can look in here and tell that that's wound up, just absorbent material. And if you lay this down, it'll, it'll soak up oil products and let the water pass through. And as these get full, you take these off, you can skim with them, but they work in conjunction here as you contain and absorb all at the same time, provided you got this out along with that, which Escambia County is elected to do as well. It overlaps. Every piece is made the same. Got a ring here, ring at the bottom. And this piece will actually, on your next joint, will hook into, everything's got a ring. We're dealing with one piece, so it's not actually what we're doing, but each piece hooks twice to prevent it from coming. A hook here, and this hook will actually come back up to this one. So you have an 18 inch overlay for every eight foot that runs out, out through there, or however long that you have. And that also will prevent oil from going, you know, past this as well, unless it gets saturated. Then comes the monitoring. You know, you have to, as soon as this gets saturated and oiled, it's gotta be replaced. If you mess with the integrity of that boom at all, you have to replace that piece. So I keep, we have extra on the, on the ground for Escambia County just in that, just do, in case that happens. How do you anchor this material? Tied off with a rope, depend, there again, we're, we're back into currents and, and, uh, and, and, and all those things come into, Normally a half inch rope with a 35 pound anchor, we have them right back here and you, depending on currents, whether you place that at a 50 foot increment, 100 foot increment, or it's 150, 200, whatever it dictates. Also, the weight of the anchor. The less current, the less weight of an anchor you gotta have, the higher current, the more of an anchor, the more weight of an anchor you have to have. Show me how these things connect. At the end of these bales, stit, they have this mechanism here. Uh, everyone's identical, so that means that this one will slip right into the next level of the next joint, hooked together by this pin. Now you have two holes here, one pin, it's because different makers do different size, and actually sometimes when you get the third, you'll have to drill one, but it's just really one pin, and you flip that over in the back, and that spring lock holds it together, there's no way for it to come apart. Generally what you look for is a snag in that cable across the top, mm -hmm. and when this stuff's deployed, it'll, it'll pull tension, you can actually see, so when you get a break, it's like a, um, I mean, you'll see it, it'll be a concave dip and you know that that piece needs to come because the integrity of that section of boom's now been compromised and it, depending on wind speeds and currents, allow it to push right through. It'll buckle and come up and let oil pass or jump over it. So that wh wherever it's, you can, here's, a, here's a good across the top. You'll see when that's cracked and each piece will be re replaced at, right then and there as soon as it's discovered.
Do you have enough extra material to make those repairs? Absolutely. Got 5,000 extra feet sitting on the ground just for this. That's almost one mile of boom. That's exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> Can't take any chances. <laughs>